everyone good morning welcome back to another video and in today's video we will be turning a laptop into a router so last week we had a huge storm here and it killed my neighbor's router and it took my router with it as well and i don't have another commercial style router so i figured since i have a bad laptop why not use that as a router let's get to it install pfsense so i have this old laptop here that i had for about a decade and me and my wife have been using it for the past five or six years now to just watch movies and play back all our tv shows and it's been servicing us well it's an old laptop but it works it works very well actually and about um three months ago the screen broke on it there's like a little black spot right here so since now i have a much better solution for watching movies I figured I'm going to use my old HP and turn it into router since now I don't have a commercial style router anymore. So before we jump into the actual installation, I thought I'll just boot this machine up and test my new hardware and see if it works at all. So I figured I'm going to install the express card first and see if it works and it did so that appears to be working okay so since we got those two connected right there Let's see if they recognize. And it looks like they did recognize. So we've got now three network cards on this laptop and two of them are gigabit. And there we go. We got a connected Ethernet cable. Let's see if I can see an IP address. Okay, this one's not connected. This one is and we got one gigabit connection right there all right let's try the other cable this has been disconnected and now i connected the other one let's see on this one what it says and there we go one gigabit connection so they both work and now it is time to install pfsense all right so i flashed pfsense on this flash drive and i'm about to start the install turn that in turn that on system info group devices As you can see, we have a little bit of a problem. The PFSense OS is requesting some kind of choice and in input, and I can't even see what's going on there. So it looks like using the big screen has worked, and it looks like it wants to configure VLANs. So since I am facing so many problems with this, I think I will configure this stuff by myself and once it's done and up and working then I will continue filming. Okay I'm back so um, 
I have managed to find a connection to a working screen. Yeah, I struggled with that the whole day yesterday. I've installed PFSense twice already in order to get this going. And this is why I don't do computer videos. I hate computers to my core. Hey guys, so I love making these videos, but they are difficult to make. So if this video has given you any kind of value, it will help my channel a lot if you guys hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any kind of ideas for other videos, please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and have a beautiful day. Okay, so it took me a little bit and I got the damn thing up and running. I had to redo the installation and I had to select BIOS instead of UEFI boot. So now it does run and I'm going to flip the cameras around and let's boot into the system. Okay. Let's configure everything. So no to VLANs right now. And we got three interfaces on this computer. RE0 is not gonna be used because that's the onboard one. And then USB Ethernet zero, the first one. That is going to be one of the NICs, and UE1 is going to be the second NIC. Now, I don't know which one is plugged in at the moment, but uh, let's see. Once that is turned on, it will tell us, okay, UE1, that's going to be our LAN channel. So, we're going to do... Enter the WAN interface, so that would be UE0. Okay. Now enter the LAN interface, and that's going to be UE1. Now enter the optional third one, we're not going to be using that, so nothing. That looks correct. And you want to proceed yes okay so that's configuring everything in a second it will hopefully give me a IP address to my laptop and it looks like we have an address and the system has finished loading so our base address is going to be 192.168.1.100 well and that would be our PF Sense. All right, I hope everyone can see okay. I'm gonna run through the setup wizard.
internal get resting with that and admin password all right that's filled up let's continue and we're done so let's do a reload I know for a fact this is not going to reload simply because it's about to change address and I don't know why it's not really updating so I'm going to manually turn this off and there we go we have a new address so let's go log into this new address So that's all ready to log in. Let's log in. And it seems to have worked well. I'm logged in. I'm doing surveys. And there's my address. Now there's no WAN connected yet. In a minute I'll connect a cable and we will have an address. Hey everyone, good morning. It is the next day and I have been messing around yesterday all day with the uh, PFSense firewall as you saw a few seconds ago on the video and I had some trouble with it. The trouble I was having was first of all when I finished installation and I logged into the firewall whenever I used to connect the WAN port it would give me a 505 page loading error I couldn't figure it out and I had to consult the internet in order to find a solution for it and I did find a solution for it and in a second I will show you what's going on exactly okay so this is my PFSense firewall as you can see and I have everything set up and going and as you can see I got connections on my WAN port and LAN port I'm having a external address for my neighbor's router I have an internal address it's all working correctly now this is what I discovered so I'm going to interface WAN and if you scroll down to the very very bottom there are these two settings now if these two are switched on you're not gonna get a external address if you are inside an internal network and these are switched on you're not gonna get an address from the external network and you're gonna get a 502 error page every time you try to log in so once you finish setting up your router it's very very important to go in there and change those settings if you want to have access to the internet or the outside world this is my PFSense setup at the moment we got both network cables connected this one is my LAN port this one is the WAN port this is going all the way to my neighbor's house which is about 500 feet away and this is going to my internal switch which is hiding in here I don't know if you can see it Camera's not really picking it up, but yeah, this is my switch right there. So I think I'm going to end the video here. We can call this installation a success. I'm sorry I didn't show every single step of the way until the point I got it up and running because it was a lot of work to get it up and running. But yeah, I'm happy that it's running, it's working good, and... If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.